Hello YouTube, Super Equixor here, and today I am bringing you a deck profile on this lovely Friday. It is an Exodia deck profile. Yes, Exodia, the Forbidden One, one of the worst archetypes in the game, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly, because nobody can draw the same cards every game consistently, so that's kind of the downfall of the Exodia archetype. But, I haven't seen many Exodia videos, or Exodia deck profiles on YouTube, and I haven't seen many in forums recently, so I figured I would bring my version of it to the board. I played a Blue Eyes deck, excuse me, um, for a couple weeks, and I realized you could just run these other cards and just literally, your sideboard could just be a different deck with the Blue Eyes deck. You could play game one with Blue Eyes, and then in your sideboard run five pieces of Exodia, and then the six pieces of the bam uh, the six bamboo pieces and then two threatening roar and the three reckless greed any combination of those and you could just so literally side in and change your whole entire deck up so i decided to do that for a while it was hilarious so yeah this is the new version of the exodia i'm running it is a blue eyes engine and let's jump right in we have the five pieces of the forbidden one your main win condition but not your only win condition we have a Lava Golem, he's another level 8, and he's a win condition. He's level 8 for the trade-in, and he's another win con in that your opponent takes 1,000 points of damage during their standby phases, so if it's late game, he can end up winning a game for you if you can just survive his attacks, which is not that hard to do. Let me run 3 Maiden. She's just there to get Blue Eyes out as your other win condition. She's really, really fun and really, really good, and she can negate your opponent's attacks if she's targeted for an attack, so she's another stall option for the Exodia win condition. Then we run three Whitestone, and the Whitestone in this deck is actually better than the Maiden. Usually in a Blue-Eyes deck, the Maiden is the better card in most cases, but in this deck, every time, the Whitestone is the better card because it puts the Blue-Eyes in your hand to discard for the trade-in. Then we have the triple Blue-Eyes White Dragon for the trade-in. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the Whitestone of Legend is also used for cards of consonance. But we do have the three Blue-Eyes White Dragons for the trade-in and for the ulti win. We have Double Flamvel Guard for the Cards of Consonants, and we have a Storm Dragon Guard for the Cards of Consonants. And also as an equip onto your Blue Eyes after it's already on the board. One Dark Hole for Stall. It's Exodia. You want to stall. Set your opponent's board back. One Day of Peace. One One Day of Peace. Because you want more draw, and that is draw. Triple Upstart because you want draw. Triple Cards because you want draw. Triple Trade-In because you want draw. And then Triple Broken Bamboo Sword. The Equip Monster gains zero attack. That is all it does. But the reason it is here is for Golden Bamboo Sword. If you control a Bamboo Sword equipped spell card, you can draw two cards. So it becomes Pot of Greed if you control one of these things. So it's pretty great. Uh, Double Threatening Roar. I like this card just because it stops your opponent's battle phase. Just straight, they can't declare an attack. And that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, it's pretty clutch, actually. Your opponent not being able to do anything with their monsters is awesome. So, And then more acceleration in the Triple Reckless Greed. And there is no extra deck. You could run an extra deck if you really wanted to. I... Don't know why you would. I mean, you could run the Azure Eyes Dragon, uh, Thunder and Dragon, Heliopolis. Uh, hmm. What else could you run? Any level ones? And yeah, ones and eights. That's all that's in the deck are ones and eights. So any level ones and any level eights you want, you can run the extra deck, but you're never going to make them. You might as the ulti win, but you're probably not. So yeah, that is the deck profile, guys. I hope you guys are having a good Friday, and I will see you guys tomorrow for opening of crossover souls i think i'm really hoping it's crossover souls but i don't think the order is going to get in tomorrow i think it actually might get in monday and then i'll just be bringing it to you on the following weekend or during the week sometime but there will be an opening of something on saturday so i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this such as deck profiles and live duels and openings and also some pokemon videos coming to you on tuesdays and thursdays and i will see you guys later